Hello and welcome back to my channel, it's Sungjin here. Today we are discussing UPS, Uninterruptible Power Supply. UPS is something that you want to have to protect your NAS or other mission critical equipment and devices where stable and safe power supply is crucial. For example, with a NAS, uninterrupted power supply is really important because power outages or power surges can potentially damage the data in your NAS or hard drives. And if you have a RAID configuration in your NAS, power outages and therefore unexpected shutdowns can do some damage to your RAID configuration, sometimes irreparable, and checking for errors could take days or weeks depending on how many drives you have and how much data you have and you want to really avoid if you have a NAS. That is why I bought this NAS from APC. Um, this is back UPS or backups from APC. Um, we are going to take a look at this NAS, um, this UPS and how to install it and how it works and we are going to do some tests. With that being said, let's begin. Okay, let's unbox this thing. Bunch of literature that probably you're not gonna read, probably you should. Okay, it comes with a type A to, where is it? Actually, type A to B USB cable for data connection, which we will get to later. Okay, this is, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it looks. So, um, this is how it looks. Um, look at the front, there is, it's pretty simple. There is not much to it. Um, it only has a power button. I'm going to peel it off. All the fun things are on the back. So you have uh, four different, four sockets. If you're buying from America, you will have uh, six different, six sockets, six 110 volt sockets that work in America, definitely. So there are, it comes with uh, different power sockets for different countries. And the first thing you want to do with this machine is to first, so you want to get the battery inside connected because most UPSs, when they are uh, first delivered, the battery, the battery inside is uh, disconnected. With this, you can do that with this yellow connector thingy, thingy like this. So the battery is now connected um, you how you use on um, this uh, UPS is very simple you plug uh, this UPS to power source and then you connect your uh, mission critical devices to this NAS that's pretty much it if your uh, device connect a UP data connection to UPS then you want to use this type A cable and then connect it to your device for example in my case that would be my NAS. Um, most Synology, Synology NASes support um, UPS, so that's what we are going to do today. So now what I'm going to do is to connect, uh, connect, to, connect this UPS to a power source and then connect this Synology to uh, this UPS uh, for, both for power and data, data connection with the uh, included USB cable so that it this Synology will be notified if this UPS detects a power outage. That way Synology will be notified of a, a power outage and then after a certain period of time, which you can set for like uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes or 20 minutes, it will wait for that amount of time before it automatically shuts down safely in a, in a process that is called a graceful shutdown. That way your data is protected and your RAID is uh, protected from a uh, power outage. That's what we are going to do and configure and test. 
Hello, so welcome back. Um, this is my current setting. As you can see, I'm using the Synology uh, DS920 Plus, and that Synology NAS is currently connected to this APC UPS. This UPS is uh, feeding power to Synology NAS, and it is also connected uh, via USB cable and that is uh, included in the box. Uh, let me show you. This, po um, this power cord goes to Synology NAS and that this cable is also that USB cable is now connected to Synology NAS right here. So we have data connection so Synology is getting information on, on from this from this UPS so as to uh, power supply status and battery charge which is great and I'm going to set uh, this up on Synology DSM okay now we are in Synology DSM uh, the operating system of the NAS that I'm using here we are going to go to control panel to set uh, UPS up here here uh, go to power and hardware and go to UPS if you're using uh, different NASes from other manufacturers you might want to refer to the manual but the um, menu structure control panel structure should be similar and then here um, the ASM is telling me that a UPS has been connected I can enable it uh, by checking this box here enable UPS support here I can set several things. Um, um, for example, I can set the time before the NAS enters uh, standby mode. I can set it so that my NAS waits until the UPS tells it that uh, the battery is low. Or I can set it so that um, my NAS waits a certain period of time, certain amounts of time, say uh, 30 minutes. But before setting this thing up, you want to see device information first uh, to see whether um, your UPS is correctly picked up, recognized by your NAS, and most importantly, see the estimated battery time. Currently, uh, it's roughly an hour. It means that your UPS can last up to an hour in under a uh, current load on um, this battery time of course will depend on how much load is uh, put uh, on your UPS and the battery size and how degraded your battery is and so on. Currently I, it says that I can have up to 60 minutes but definitely I don't want my NAS to uh, wait that much time just in case I want to have some safe safety margin. So I'm gonna set it to 30 minutes and apply so this way my NAS will wait on wait for 30 minutes in case of a power outage and then if power doesn't come back online after uh, in that 30 minutes the NAS will go into standby mode where you know where where the all disks uh, spin down, uh, all disks are turned off for safety. And then if power comes back online, the NAS will turn on automatically. Or you can set it uh, so your NAS will uh, turn off completely, not uh, going into standby mode. If uh, UPS picks up a, a power outage you can check this box if that is what you want but if that is the case you want to have wake on LAN setting enabled so that you can turn on your NAS remotely okay uh, it's good for now okay now what I want to do is to simulate a power outage to see if this UPS truly protects my NAS from power outage. I'm going to shut down the power outlet that my UPS is connected to to simulate, you know, power outage. And before doing that, I need to set uh, UPS uh, differently. Here, um, 
I don't want um, I don't want this test to last like 30 minutes. I'm going to set this uh, time interval to probably 20 seconds. So this way, after 20 seconds of the UPS losing power, the Synology will go should go into standby mode. And as soon as I turn power back on, the UPS should tell the NAS to turn on again. We're going to see if that is what really happens. And I'm going to apply this and it's been already applied. And let's cut power. Okay, I'm just turning power off. Okay. Now this Synology has just uh, noticed that there has been a power outage. The UPS has notified the Synology and I'm actually getting an email too from my Synology that um, UPS has just picked up a power outage its own battery. So it says no UP USB UPS is connected because uh, not because Synology is currently preparing to go into uh, standby mode uh, is turning off a uh, system, turning off a uh, service is required on the uh, operating system. It should be now off. Yeah, it just went off. It just went into standby mode. NAS is currently beeping because yeah, it's on battery and I'm going to turn power back on. Okay. If I refresh this page, yeah, of course, because the Synology is currently off, I don't see anything yet. Okay, Synology is booting up. A few moments later. Okay, it's now, it should be now up. Okay, let's see the log. Okay, here is the log of the events that happened. Okay, so several minutes ago when I started this test, Synology uh, noticed that the server, the NAS was on battery and then 20, was it 20 seconds? Yeah, yeah, it's 20 seconds after that event, Synology just went to safe shutdown. And then as soon as I turned um, power back on, Synology just uh, booted up itself and now it's operational again. That is how UPS, how, UP, how a UPS could uh, protect your NAS, like uh, Synology NAS or QNAP NAS, any NAS or computers or servers that supports UPS. That's it. I hope you found uh, this video useful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.